As a child, I always dreamt about having my own pet, a dog or a cat, but never really was allowed to, at least not for a long time. So I would have an animal at home and then my parents would force me to get rid of it. So I promised myself that when I grow up, I will have dogs and cats and whatever I want and they will live with me forever and ever. And so I was surprised to arrive to a place that I actually don't want to own any animal and I don't even resonate with this um, label of pet. And in this video I would like to share with you another angle of how we can engage with animals um, on a new level in a completely different form. Just like almost every child, I was very connected to animals. I loved them so much and it was everything that I wanted. But then when this company of animal was taken away, uh, I got distracted into completely different life of society, relationships, school, friends and all of that. So I kind of got disconnected from animals for many years, we can say almost three decades, until recently I reconnected with them or uh, correctly to say they reconnected with me to remind me what special bond and role I have with them and for them and they have for me. So I'll make another video where I can share more about how it actually restarted because for me it's really such a gift and a miracle and also normality. But in this video I would like to tell you about this cat that once appeared on our porch uh, in a house that we rent in uh, Caribbean. So I just found her sitting right there in front of the door, facing the door, and she was there just out of nowhere. And since then she's been coming to our house every single day. And for me I have a responsibility and kind of a role that has a rule that I do not keep animals and I do not feed them um, so in this way I can um, approach more animals and not allow any of them to get attached to me so when I leave because I travel a lot when I leave they are not left behind but this cat um, we agreed kind of silently that she's gonna stay but not with me but around me for this time being uh, she can visit on the terms that will be equally beneficial for both of us. So every morning when we wake up, I open the door, she's right there on the porch. She enters the house and she can spend all day or as long as she likes. As I mentioned to you, I do not feed her or any other animal. Uh, that visits me because food will distort the direct communication between us and she will not come to my place on a free wheel uh, but she would come here almost hooked on kind of um, addiction easy source of food that she depends on right now and this is normally what drives animals to us this is how we tame them through food but I'm not here to tame her I'm not here to own her and I have communicated to her that if she wants to eat she has to find some another source but what she receives every day with anticipation and almost like hunger is water so in another video I will be sharing uh, what is the meaning of it but just to say briefly that I discovered certain abilities between uh, myself and water and actually animals helped me to discover that I never knew about it. So um, when she comes I give her fresh water. Usually cats are not big drinkers like uh, dogs, they don't sweat 
that much uh, their tongues are always inside and um, you know they're not heavy breathers so they drink water but just like sips here and there so as you can see here she's really enjoying and sometimes she can sit for two or three minutes drinking the water and uh, it's really very um, special to her usually after she drinks she goes up on a sofa she goes to a nap or she starts cleaning herself which we think that is cleaning but actually really it's a like individual energetic um, recalibration that have uh, cats have ability of it's really amazing and the purring system is also how they repair their nervous system how they rebuild their cells and also how they connect into the energetic field of the nature and I must highlight here that when she first appeared she was a little bit like skinny I could see her ribs and her face will, had some wounds from maybe tick, tick bites and something else so she was like looking a little bit rough but after two months she started looking really good she is uh, relaxing she gained a little bit weight she looks like this really nice relaxed fluffy ball and her face uh, got cleaned out so she is um, coming here for really an energetic um, exchange because she really um, shares a lot of amazing energy through her body through her presence and then she takes a lot as well and she knows that exactly she knows uh, what's going on right here so this exchange uh, it would be weird to say but without food she is uh, in a much better health condition. We decided that when we eat, uh, we will put her out of the house. So she really got used to that routine easily. And um, what I really like about her, that she's not a beggar. She would not meow. She will not make any sound. She just knows that now we're eating and she will be on the porch and she can come back after. First of all, she doesn't have a name and I really actually do not resonate with the fact that we name our pets. Uh, for me, she's just a cat uh, and definitely she has her own personality, she has her own abilities and I feel her on a very deep level. In my relationship with this cat or any other animal, I prefer to um, speak the universal language, which is the silent, direct communication. You could call it a telepathy, though this word really does not fit, because telepathy means I'm transmitting certain words from my mind to her mind. But in our communication, there are no words. I just send her feelings and kind of knowing, you know, like a gut knowing, but there is no um, words in my head. Cats are perfect um, creatures that were designed in a way that they transmit uh, energy, they receive a lot of information, and they uh, are able to transform and they have this ability of calmness so cats can uh, really calm themselves and humans and any other animals they are perfect partners to work with other animals and I'm really grateful how every day she comes and she just loves cuddling uh, she loves, um, how you call this act, when they're milking, milking with their paws, you know, they're um, massaging the bed, she's massaging whatever she can find, a pillow, a cover, uh, my belly, um, so she's really cuddly. At the same time, she doesn't like to be picked, 
she doesn't like when uh, your face is too close to her face she has her own boundaries but um, she communicates that really really well so in the first three four months she was going out while we were eating until one day um, I was alone and uh, I discovered that she actually uh, learned what it means about the food uh, what is my uh, position about my food when I'm eating so she was uh, next to me on the floor and I started eating and I had like really aromatic plate with melted cheese you know anything that she would really crave so uh, she was sitting next to me and then I just looked at her and um, transmitted her the message that you cannot eat if you want to eat you need to go out and this is mine so she just turned around and left the room she went to my bedroom and she slept on my bed so this is where I realized that she is ready to stay even when I am eating because before I was putting her away I mean food is such a strong trigger it's it's an instinctive uh, behavior that I do not want to break uh, so I was gently taking her away but with time she um, corrected her own self you know I didn't need to push her I didn't need to um, scream at her or tell her any words so next time I purposely prepared my food and decided uh, to test that again and to film it to see how she will do and she just did perfectly and here I am sharing with you So this may resonate with you, may not, and maybe you would like to try it. Just uh, be aware that this is not training in the matter that we uh, know what is training for animals. Uh, if you can Google what is animal communication or interspecies communication, uh, it's that. Where it's effortless, it's easy basically you benefit yourself so much if you learn that because you have to really uh, become very quiet very calm very peaceful it's like you are dropping into um, a meditative state and this is how you help animals to rebuild their nature their power and also how to create trust within yourself that when animal leaves your house um, it's responsible for its own self and it will be completely well you really learn to trust <laughs>